What a lovely day to go out for a walk. I have a little bit of radiation. Should I use it right away? Nah, I'll be fine. Oh, what's that in the distance? Oh, nope, nope, turning around, turning around. Nope, nope, not dealing with this, not dealing with this. Okay, um, you're coming, slowly. Oh, okay, follow me, please leave me alone. You're, you know what, I'm a big boy, I can, I can take care of this. Let's try something easier. I can deal with bugs, right? Okay, ow. That's a lot of radiation. Luckily, I came prepared this time. Time to use some of my stim packs. Ah, yes, much better. Ow, stop hitting me. Man, I'm taking a lot of radiation. Luckily, I got a few rataways in my inventory as well. And a few more stim packs just in case. Alright, let's go. Huh. Come on, you, you bugs ain't nothing. I could fight you all day. Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Iza. This week we'll be taking another dive into the official Fallout cookbook. But instead of looking at food, we'll be looking at the beverages of the Fallout universe. I'll be attempting to recreate and try seven different beverages. Three of them are Nuka-Cola variations and two of them are a little extra fun for adults only. I'm excited to try these out. Hopefully they'll taste good. Hopefully I won't mess them up, but I'm ready. If you're ready, let's go. Nuka-Cola is the most popular soft drink in the Fallout universe. It gets its unique flavor from the essence of 17 different fruits mixed in just the right proportions, but None of us got time for that. We'll be looking at the original Nuka-Cola along with two variations, Nuka Cherry and Nuka-Cola Quantum. For the original Nuka-Cola, we are gonna need two cups of water, three cups of sugar, the zest and juice of half of an orange, the zest and juice of half of a lime, and the zest and juice of half of a lemon. One cinnamon stick, three cardamom pods, half a teaspoon of coriander seed, two star anise, a fourth a cup of browning sauce, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Whisk until the sugar dissolves. Boil then simmer for 10 minutes. Strain it into an airtight container then store in your fridge for 12 hours. For the Nuka-Cola Quantum, add one cup of water, two cups of sugar, the zest and juice of one lemon, the zest and juice of one lime, two tablespoons of fruit punch, and two tablespoons of pomegranate juice. Whisk until the sugar has dissolved, bring to a boil, and then simmer for 10 minutes. Strain into an airtight container, then add one teaspoon of citric acid, and a few drops of neon blue food dye until it matches the color in game. Then store in the refrigerator for at least 12 hours. For the Nuka Cola Cherry, add one and one half cups of water, one cup of sugar, and one cup of cherries. Whisk until the sugar has dissolved, bring to a boil, and then simmer for 20 minutes. The classic original Nuka Cola. It doesn't really taste like cola. Kind of tastes like. Ah, it just tastes like a bunch of different spices with uh, carbonation. Actually, no, I take that back. It tastes like Diet Coke. That's what it tastes like. It has kind of like that artificial taste. It's a, it gets a five out of ten from me. Okay, so this is the Nuka Cola Quantum. Um, in the game, it's supposed to glow in the dark with some because it's radioactive, but we don't have that. Um, and it's really blue in the game. There's a little bit. The syrup was really uh, green, in my opinion. But once you put in the soda or the club soda, uh, it really mellowed out to a nice color, very similar to the game, in my opinion. 
I actually really like this. It reminds me of Mountain Dew. It tastes almost exactly like Mountain Dew. It's really citrusy, um, very sugary, obviously. I'll give this an eight out of 10. My favorite one so far out of the two I've tried. It didn't turn out quite like how it looks like in game. Uh, in the game, Nuka cherries are just like bright red, right? This looks like uh, I poured out a can of cherry Coke. But um, let's see how it tastes, first of all. Yeah, this tastes like ass. <laughs> Um, I don't recommend making this one. I would say stay as far away as possible from this one if possible. Vim was one of the many companies competing in the same market as Nuka-Cola. Although never quite as popular as their competitor, Vim did offer many unique drinks to the public. Nuka-Cola offered to buy this company out multiple times, but the deal never closed due to the war. We'll be looking at Vim's unreleased drink, Vim Quartz. Start off with a few basil leaves and muddle them at the bottom of a cocktail shaker. I don't have a muddler, so I'm using the back of a spoon. Then juice half of a lime, add some ice, one fourth cup of carrot juice, one half cup of apple juice. Cover and shake for about 10 seconds. Pour out the mixture in glasses filled with ice and then top with ginger beer. Whoa. I think I may have added too much basil. It is good though. Mm, I'll say on scale of 10, probably like a seven. Maybe an eight if I added less basil next time. Next is Deezer's lemonade made by Deezer himself in Covenant. And what's in the lemonade? What's in the lemonade? Deezer's lemonade is made of goodness. Four special ingredients from sunny, non-irradiated environments, all in one cold glass. Try it. Start off with half a cup of blackberries and half a cup of blueberries into a blender. Blend the berries until liquefied. Pour it out into a mess strainer to remove any seeds. Add one and a half cups of lemon juice. Add two cups of water. Add in simple syrup to taste. Stir thoroughly. And if you want to get fancy, garnish with a toothpick that has blackberries and blueberries on it. Stim packs and radaways are absolutely essential in the Fallout universe. Radaways remove radiation in your body, and stim packs heal any damage that you might have received. Let's try making these in real life, but add alcohol because why not? For the stim packs, start off with two tablespoons of gelatin, one fourth cup of pomegranate juice, a fourth cup of sugar, a few drops of red food coloring, and one cup of boiling water. Stir until the gelatin has fully dissolved. Add 3 4 cup of raspberry vodka. I got a nice bottle of Ciroc here. Pour the mixture into the syringe. Add in the stopper and create a seal to prevent any liquid from coming out. Flip over and remove the cap. Push the liquid to the tip to release any air. And then put the cap back on. Refrigerate for at least 12 hours. For the Rataway, juice 1 lime. Add a dash of ground allspice, one fourth cup of dark rum, and one fourth cup of soda. You can use the Nuka Cola soda if you want, but I was just using regular Coke. Now take an IV bag. Make sure to get the ones that are designed for drinking and not for hospital use. Fill the syringe up with the mixture and then inject it into the straw of the IV bag. And then just keep repeating until the bag is filled. Thank you so much for watching if you have any recommendations or ideas of what i should make next please leave them down below don't forget to hit the like button and maybe even the subscribe button if you want to see more of my failures i'm running out of fallout inspired dishes so i'll be looking into other 
video game universes and start looking into some anime universes as well. I'll see y'all next time.